President Trump is going to put China on notice, supposedly, over North Korea's nuclear program. How will tough talk work ahead of the high-stakes meeting with China's president this week? CNN's Will Ripley has reported extensively from inside North Korea. He joins us now from Beijing with reaction. We're told the meeting will be at Mar-a-Lago later this week, but will not involve golf, at least not for China's president, right? That's right, because he's actually uh, banned all government officials from playing golf here in China and has shut down a number of golf courses. He's almost waged a war against the sport here. So an interesting backdrop, but they certainly do have a lot on their agenda, Chris. This interview with President Trump where he said that the United States will take care of North Korea with or without China. Chinese officials not taking the bait on that, at least in their public statements overnight. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that there was a conversation that happened between Secretary of State Tillerson and China's top diplomat queuing up this meeting, talking about its importance, uh, but not even mentioning the subject of North Korea. Of course, China uh, blames the United States for escalating tensions on the Korean Peninsula. The U.S. thinks that China has a lot of economic leverage that it's not using. What could the U.S. actually do in North Korea? Well, it's certainly limited without China's participation, Chris, because any sanctions for them to really be effective, China would need to enforce them. If there was some sort of diplomatic engagement directly with the U.S. and North Korea, as President Trump hinted on the campaign trail, that would certainly be unprecedented. The other option, and again, the president's comments very cryptic, a preemptive military strike, that is certainly something that would cause a lot of problems for China and not something that they want to see happen.